briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2017, the New York Court for the Correction of Errors heard a case regarding cross-racial identification in criminal cases, where the witness and defendant appeared to be of different races. The case, People v. Boone, centered on two separate incidents of robberies in Brooklyn, where a black man had robbed and assaulted two white victims who later identified Otis Boone, a 19-year-old African-American, as their assailant based solely on their recollection. During the trial, Boone requested a charge on the inaccuracy of cross-racial identifications, but the trial court denied it. The Court of Appeals reversed this decision, stating that a cross-racial identification charge must be given upon request in criminal cases where the witness and defendant appear to be of different races, citing the cross-race effect as a psychological principle that can impair the accuracy of eyewitness identification. The court ruled that the trial court erred in denying Boone's request for a cross-racial identification charge, leading to a first-degree robbery conviction and ordering a new trial. The court emphasized the potential unreliability of visual identification and the importance of tailored jury instructions. A Fry hearing might be necessary to assess expert testimony on the cross-race effect, but trial judges' discretion should remain intact. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.